Where's, where's my record button? There it is. Oh my goodness, I look so white. Why you do? Why bro, you look brown. Man. Why are you so brown, bro? I'm so white. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Wintertime Open 2023, the 45th annual Wintertime Open. This is Steve Rico. And Mike Jewell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, we just want to say this is the uh, this is going to be the caddy book. This is going to be the walkthrough, the fly through with the drone footage. We're going to teach you or tell you about all of the out of bounds for each one of the holes or any of the rules that are necessary for each hole. Yeah, so uh, make sure and pay attention. There's a lot of ropes, a lot of stuff going on out there. So make sure and uh, follow along, read your caddy book. Make sure you guys know what you're doing before you play the hole. All right. First of all, first off, we want to thank the Horns. They put in 40 years of service to you guys. Uh, to make this thing happen. Um, we didn't pick it up until the 43rd, uh, but we want to we, we want to say thank you to Mark Horn, Susie Horn, Chris Horn, putting in all that time and effort. We appreciate you. We love you. The disc golf clubs uh, around the area, Oak Grove Disc Golf Community, love you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Yeah, you guys are amazing. It's been a lot of hard work um, throughout the year, making this possible for us, uh, making it easy on us, actually. So thank you to the OG Disc Golf Club. Yeah, we want to thank specifically uh, Mike and Kevin and Pat and Rudy and Roger for just helping us out completely with uh, setting up the course, making sure all the uh, baskets are in the right pin positions, and just cleaning up the, the course just in general and, and helping us do everything that they've done so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yep, thank you all for the support out there. Um, yeah, pretty excited. 45th year. And um, yeah, let's do it. A couple of ground rules really quick. Uh, two meter rule is in effect. Um, so that's six feet, six inches above the playing field. And casual relief on picnic benches and poison oak. Those are going to be on every hole. So um, yeah. just keep that in mind. You get uh, casual relief, first meaning available. first available space away from that object. If you're buried under a picnic bench, you get first available space. Uh, we're just helping you out with that. We're being sweethearts. Yeah, we don't you're want such no, a uh, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we don't want nobody uh, getting hurt out there. So Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get into the footage, guys. All right, here we go. Hole number one, 315 feet, par three. Uh, nothing changed from last year. You will have a drop zone over by the telephone pole to the right if you miss this mandatory mark right there. That looks crazy. Uh, if you're out of bounds, you are out of bounds if you're in the street. Normal out of bounds rule there apply. And going up to this basket. There we go. On to hole number two. All right, hole two it is 284 feet. Um, nothing's changed since last year. Um, there's a creek up ahead here. If you go into the creek, you will play it as a hazard where it lies with the one stroke penalty. If somehow you reach the street that's way up to the right, that is a normal out of bounds line as well. Um, but yeah, play the, uh, the creek as a hazard. All right, here we go for AMS only. This is hole number three. This is 272 feet. This is a par three. Uh, there is a fence over here on the left-hand side. They said it would be taken down uh, before the event. If it's not, that will be out of bounds. Um, you will see an out, uh, yeah, a mandatory uh, tree right there. If you, you must pass to the right of that. If you miss that, there will be a drop zone for you. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do hole number four for the AMs, if I'm not correct. Yeah, here we go. Yep, hole four is 352 feet. This um, is for the AMs only? This is a par three? AMs only. Um, there will be an out of bounds line to the left. Um, normal OB rules will apply there. And the basket is gonna be up on this hill to the right. Tucked away to the right, that's it. Clean and simple. Okay, moving on to hole three. This one is for the pros only. We're gonna be doing pat, T pad three to basket four. This is a total of 574 feet. It is a par four. Again, if this fence is still up, it will play as an out of bounds, um, but it, they promised us that it would be gone by the uh, tournament. So um, normal OB rules would apply in that case. No mandatories for you on this hole. There will be an out of bounds line over to your left, separating the fairway from the Paul Harris hole for the and this hole together. Um, Position is going to be the same. It's going to be tucked away up here on the right hand side. Oh, 
All right, this is the spider hole from last year. This is hole four for the pros, hole five for the AMs. You will have to stay right side of the mark mandatory that we just flew past, 431 feet. Yep, as uh, we approach up here on top of the famous spider tree, there will be an OB line to the right of this fairway to separate this and the next hole. This was a great addition uh, that we used last year. The concrete around the bathroom is also going to be out of bounds as well, and there'll be a line that goes to the parking lot to, to have a solid line here. Uh, we didn't have a basket for the drone footage here, but as you can see, there's a little pink flag that shows you where the basket will be. Okay, moving on to hole number five. This is um, no changes from last year. It is 457 feet. Um, this fairway is safe. And also the basket that the island is on is safe as well. Everything else to the right of OB. Um, the defining line for the out of bounds is gonna be this, uh, this roadway here. It's a real sharp concrete as you can see there. Um, and that'll be your defining line for being in bounds or out of bounds, okay? So pay attention to that. Um, like he said, the second uh, island that we're flying to now where the basket is, this is all safe, but you'll see other small islands and things like that along the right-hand side that are gonna be out of bounds. Play them as normal out of bounds rules on these, okay? Hole number six for the pros, seven for the AMs. This is 320 feet for the pros and 222 feet for the AMs. You're gonna have an out of bounds line that runs all the way on the left-hand side of this fairway. Um, Right here, we're going to be able to show you where the where the AMs are throwing, which is going to be the normal Paul Harris hole in this position. And then the pros are actually going to be playing to an island. Now, the, the out of bounds here is going to be hazard. So I'll draw a little line here for the rock line and kind of show you what it would look like, the island's going to look like. There will be a basket in the middle of that. Um, if you're not safe on the island, it's a hazard. Out of bounds. All right, hole 7, 446. That telephone pole will be a mandatory you must pass to the left of it if missed you will proceed to the drop zone right here there's an OB to the right where the fence and cables are um, that is all OB and normal OB rules will apply there and approaching the green the parking lot above the basket is all OB and that will also be normal OB rules will apply All right, moving on to hole eight for the pros and nine for the AMs. This is a 305 foot shot. Um, same as last year, nothing changes. The parking lot to the left will be out of bounds. Everywhere else is gonna be safe. Um, there's a dirt road that's beyond the basket that will play safe. Some people throw a little long. Um, that's gonna play safe, just play it as it lies. Um, but the concrete parking lot is out of bounds to the left. Okay, hole number nine, 614 feet par four. Those two trees right next to the tee pad will be a double mandatory. You must stay between them to keep you on this initial fairway here. And if you miss those, you're gonna just re-tee. You're not losing any distance there. You just re-tee right off that, that initial tee. And then moving up here, there's the mandatory to the left there. You must stay to the right of it. If you miss that, the, the drop zone will be over here on the right near this bush, just like last year. Nothing really changes uh, from last year. As you can see, there's a fence over here on the right-hand side. If you're over that, you are out of bounds. That's a normal OB rule applying there, um, and, but no other, no other out of bounds for the rest of this hole. It's going to be tucked away deep to the right over these bushes, behind the tree, to grandmother's house we go. Good looking green. Tough, tough position. All right, moving our way out to the desert, we got a 290 foot par three here. Um, there is a farm over to the left that has a fence. If you're over that fence, you're out of bounds. Normal OB rules apply. Please do not crawl over that fence to get your Frisbee. You will have to wait until later so we can get it for you. Um, straightforward though, self-explanatory hole here. Okay, hole number 11. This is 297 feet, the first desert hole. There's an OB fence on the right-hand side, and it kind of circles around the back side of this green. 
If you are OB, you will play normal OB rules with a penalty. All right, moving on to hole number 12 and 13 for the AMs. 333 feet, par three, same as last hole. This fence line that we're flying over right now, out of bounds is to the right of that. Uh, normal OB rules apply. You bring it where you were last in bounds. And the same as the last hole, it kind of wraps behind the basket. So if you go too long, you'll be out of bounds there as well. <clears throat> All right, moving on, hole 13 and 14. This is 235 feet, par three. This is an island hole. If you miss the island, you will play as a hazard. Yeah, if you don't come to rest safely on the island, it's going to be, you play it from where it lies and you get a one stroke penalty, play it as a hazard. All right, here we go, Green Monster. The infamous Green Monster. Here we go, hole number 14 for Ams. It's going to be 15, 435 feet. It is a par four. You're going to have to clear these trees and then cut to the right and avoid this telephone pole. I'm not trying to just put that in your head right now. You really need to miss this telephone pole. <laughs> There's going to be an out-of-bounds line that runs the right-hand side of this fairway at this point. Um, normal OB rules apply. There's also a fence way over to the left-hand side that's out-of-bounds. If somehow you find yourself over there, same, same thing. OB rules apply. Uh, bring it where you were last safe. Tucked under this oak tree here. What a beautiful course this is. Dang it! <laughs> All right, and hole number 15, 450 feet, par four. There's a, this will be a marked mandatory tree right here. You have to pass to the left of that. As you move up the fairway, there's a bathroom behind the basket. Uh, that'll be out of bounds. Normal OB rules will apply there. And don't forget, fresh off the tee, there's a, an out of bounds line that runs the fairway of 18. That will also be out of bounds. So um, stay on the fairway. All right, hole number 16 for pros and 17 for AMs. We've got a mandatory tree right here to the left and 490 feet. This is a par four. The fence line for the farm is over on your right-hand side. Do not cross over that. That's out of bounds. And then there's going to be a road at the very end of the hole that will be out of bounds as well. A good shot will land right here. It's actually a great shot. A great shot a will great land there. I needed yeah. to correct myself there. <laughs> yeah. So the street will be out of bounds right there. All right, hole number 17. It's 270 feet, par three. This is a new addition to the course this year. For pros only, it'll be the pros weekend only, 270 feet. There's an OB on the right side of this fairway. It's the, to keep you from going out into the parking lot. And it'll be nestled right here in this little grove of trees right there. It's a good hole, I like it. I like it, it's fun. All right, the legendary uh, Mark Horn design, hole number 18, 589 feet, par four. This hole just, this this is like... It's a great finishing hole. It's a great finishing <laughs> hole. It's very nerve wracking, so much fun. Uh, you're gonna have one mandatory, you must stay to the right of it. It will be this V tree right here, boop. Um, you can ignore these pink stripes on these trees, that is for the normal course. If you do miss that mandatory, you would use 18's normal T as the drop zone. There will be an out of bounds line from that mandatory tree on the left that runs all the way down this fairway separating, um, what is that, 16's, 16. fair, 16's fairway, sorry, and uh, 18's fairway. And you also have the street on the right that's out of bounds, and then there will be a line behind this basket that will be out of bounds near that rock line back there. All right, guys, that's it. That is your caddy book for the 2023 45th annual Wintertime Open. Again, we want to thank the Disc Golf Club, uh, the Oak Grove Disc Golf Club uh, and community for helping us out with this event. Yeah, um, big thanks to our sponsors, um, OTB, Discovering the World, Infinite Discs, and also Bogey Free Bags. They all contribute a lot of stuff for us. Um, so thank you very much to those companies. Big thanks to our title sponsors with Legacy Discs 
and Pin Deep Disc Golf. Thank you guys for supporting our companies and supporting this event. Thank you to all the uh, players playing in the event, and thanks for everybody who supported us. We appreciate you. Thank yeah. you. We'll see you at the next one. Thank you.